Free ClickUp tutorial, simple project management demo. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with ClickUp and manage your projects using this simple project management software. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply go on to ClickUp.com and enter your work email over here. You can click on sign up over here as well. And all you have to do is enter your email and a suitable password. Now, the best part about using ClickUp is that they have their free version, which is what we are going to be using today. And it gives you 100 megabytes of storage. You can add unlimited tasks and you have all the basic features that you would need for your project. Now, I'm just going to log into my account. So this is my account over here. And I'm going to show you guys how to set up your workspace and begin your project management on ClickUp. So first off, you're just going to go into the bottom left corner and I'm going to click on add workspace. If you have a new account, it's automatically going to lead you to, to this screen when you're setting it up. So the project that I would like to manage is actually for maybe my finances. So I'm just going to click on next and then you can customize your logo. You can upload a image or browse or just use your alphabetical letter. So I'm just going to go. I'm happy with this. Then you can click on how many people are just going to be working and then you can import your tasks if you were previously using any other project management tool. So I'm just going to continue and now I can click on play with ClickUp. Now, the best part about using ClickUp is that everything is super intuitive and simple. So now you can see I've created my workspace. Now within your workspace, so a workspace is a confined designated section. So I have one workspace that I just created called finance and then I have another one. Now to get started with my workspace, uh, I can create spaces. Within those spaces, I can create boards and within those boards, I can create tasks. So first off, I'm going to click on new space and you can go on ahead and name it or you can go into the template section over here and you can actually find multiple different template uh, templates for management, for marketing, for other kinds of things as well. So you can go on ahead and apply a template and customize that as well. That is totally up to you. So I'm just going to scroll down and browse some of the templates and select one that I like. So I'm just browsing the templates that I have over here and there are a bunch of different templates. You can specifically search for what you're looking for. So you can click on project management and this is like a very basic intermediate kind of project management template. So I'm just going to click on use template over here and I will use this. So you can click on customize import items. So you can choose to customize what you want or import everything as it is. And I will just rename this. So finance project and I want to import everything as it is and I'm going to click on use template over here and this can really help you in setting up your initial, you know, workspace and then you can customize this, but I'm going to show you guys how to get started from scratch as well. So in our finance project, first off, you can see this is the template and within the template, first off, we have our phase one which is strategy, then you have design, then you have development, then you have execution, then you have meeting in minutes. So now if I go into the first board over here, this is in the form of a uh, little, you know, a uh, file. So I'm going to click on phase one, which is strategy and ready in progress. Then we have design. But if I click on the entire file over here, it gives me a overview of everything. So now what I can do is I can just click on any of these lists and I can click on rename and rename them to my own. So just continuing on over here, I have my list settings and I can just click on rename over here. So instead of having it called phase two design, I can rename this into maybe financial design. So the, in this, I can go on ahead and enter the tasks for financial design. And this is like a basic overview. Then you can see on the top, you have your sections where you can change the view. So you can go on ahead and click on add list view. Then let's say I want to have a board view. So I can click on add. And now I have a simple board view of everything. So what are the to-do lists? What are the in progress? What is ready and what has been completed? Then you also have Gantt charts that enable you to see the timeline of multiple different things as well. Then you also have other views that you can choose to add. So you can monitor your workload or calendar views. Now I'm going to click on new space and we will begin with uh, empty space. So I can show you guys how you can create your own 
financial or any kind of project management. So this is a project management sample and I'm just going to click on finance workspace. Now I'm just going to click on new template or just custom. I will click on next, 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 create space. So this is going to be empty and you can customize this, but you know, in this section, first off, I have my first list. So I can go on ahead and rename this when in this project management sample. So let's say my project is to get a construction site built. So I'm just going to uh, first off rename my uh, section. So rename my space construction of building. Let's keep it simple. So after that, in my first list, I will have location ideas and then in the tasks i might have visit location one so these are the things that need to be done then i can go on ahead and in the construction of building click on over here click on list and create a new list which might be architect so let's say in the second list i want to monitor the architects that i have and i can rename you know instead of the to do i can go on ahead and create a new status and call the status potential and I can click on save and now instead of that uh, appearing as a to do I can enter these people as potential architects now in this way I can go on ahead and build my entire project a simpler way of building is to go into your board view directly and then this helps you in adding tasks directly going into your statuses and building more statuses so you can simply go on ahead and click on create new task in a specific status and create that or you can click on the left side of your screen click on add and click on list and create the new list so after my to-do list or task list i have my potential list then i can have my completed or uh, filled list as well so this helps you in having like a overall view of everything and how it is going so in this way i can simplify my tasks without having to do categorization and then i can go on ahead and do categorization later on and then once you click on a task you can enter descriptions you can enter subtasks as well as attachments that might be needed then you can also click on the assignees and assign different people and click on this icon to set priorities and you can create your own priorities as well and then you can have your task settings where you can go on ahead and duplicate tasks and also set a timer for how long it takes to complete the task as well as setting a due date so for the due date you can just click on over here and enter the due date click on close and now the due date has also been set and whenever the task is going above the due date you can actually be notified in terms of some other amazing features on ClickUp, you can click on automate over here, click on add automation, and then create some basic and simple automations that enable you to simplify your day-to-day -day work instead of having to, you know, go over and over and, you know, wait for everything and get everything done manually. You can go, let's say, when a task is created, then you can go on ahead and add a specific assignee to that task if a um, item is moved then you can get notified so on and so forth so this can enable you to really make sure everything works efficiently plus the best part about using clickup is that you can manage different workspaces so in workspaces no none of the work is interchangeable but in within a workspace you can create different kind of boards like i did with the finance project template and then i have my own template of the construction of buildings so you can go on ahead and create spaces within a singular workspace to separate different categories of your own work so let's say i'm doing project management for you know a very large business and i'm managing a product launch so in that product launch maybe i want to separate the finance to the marketing section from the digital marketing section so everything moves a little more uh, smoothly so you can do all this with ClickUp so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with ClickUp for free make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video